Hello everybody and welcome along here to Sportsbet TV. This is Paul Alster with your racing selections ahead of another uh, very big uh, weekend's action and uh, Saturday the 10th of October. See some great racing in Britain and Ireland. The feature card is at Newmarket where it's Dewhurst Stakes Day and also the Cesarowicz and there's really good supporting cards at tracks such as uh, York and also a very good jumps card at Chepstow among others. Now we have three selections for you for uh, this weekend and uh, I'll come to those in just a moment but we gave you three selections last week uh, one of which was a non-runner because Ascot unfortunately was abandoned the other two both ran very well indeed the filly ran a great race in the uh, Kingdom of Bahrain um, Sun Chariot Stakes the French filly uh, recommended at 11 to 1 she actually came second at 14 to 1 so hopefully you were on her each way and then the arc at Longchamp, we tipped you Persian King each way at uh, 20 to 1. And he ran the race of his life to finish third. So it was a profitable weekend last weekend. We're hoping to carry those profits forward and play them up on Saturday. Well, these selections are recorded at lunchtime on Friday and the odds are uh, relevant at the time of recording. We'll begin first of all for Saturday with the Newmarket 220 race, which is uh, appropriately the Group 3 Autumn Stakes. It's a race that over the last decade has been run by some tremendous horses. Kingston Hill, of course, who was a, a high-class performer, um, gifted master, the great Gaiath, uh, currently the world's highest rated horse, and Persian King, no less, who finished third in the arc for us uh, last uh, weekend and, of course, won the, uh, I, the uh, French uh, 2000 guineas and was second in a French derby. Well, this year, there's some um, very interesting contenders uh, representing top yards. Maximul, Van Gogh, they're both very interesting, uh, One River as well. But there's a horse running in this race trained by Brian Meehan and the Mount of Jim Crowley. This one is owned by Hamdan al Maktoum of Dubai and the horse is called Akmam. He was a 150,000 guinea uh, colt by Wooten Bassett who you would probably remember was trained by Richard Fahey and was very, very useful. He was pretty useful on soft ground as well. And this colt, he made all to win his only race. That was at Ascot. And he won by four lengths, never really uh, being seriously tested. And he looked a very smart performer. That was last month. It was a really likeable performance. Uh, this is a much tougher task. He's up against much better horses. But the fact that Brian Meehan steps him up, uh, is encouraging. He's a trainer who's handled some very high-class horses over the years. Remember, Delegator and others um, of that ilk. And I think that 10 to 1 each way at the time of recording, that's a general price with most firms, looks fair. And Akmar is open to a lot of improvement and I think he represents the value in the race. So in the 2.20 at Newmarket Saturday, it's 10 to 1 each way Akmar for Brian Meehan and Jim Crowley, who's having a wonderful season. And then after the Dewhurst, which I tried to figure out and I couldn't get anywhere with that, I'm afraid. I'll leave you to make your own decisions on just about the top two-year-old race of the season. I'll take you to the Cesarowicz, the two and a quarter mile handicap, one of the marathon handicaps of the season. The second leg of the autumn double, of course, the first leg being the Cambridgeshire two weeks ago. Now, as ever, you can make out a case for a lot of these. Uh, with the 34 runners. Remember the going is soft, so not too many are actually going to be staying on uh, at the end of proceedings. But one has really caught my attention and I've gone backwards and forwards over this race and I keep coming back to a horse called Dalton Highway. He's trained by the great Irish trainer Dermot Weld and for me very significantly Dermot has booked Tom Marquand who's having a magnificent year. Can't stop riding top winners. Now this um, Dalton Highway is a, a dual purpose horse, a winner on the flat and over hurdles. He won over two miles in a good handicap at the Curra at the uh, June meeting and then he was beaten at the Galway Festival. He was beaten five lengths in a staying handicap but he was beaten by Princess Zoe. Princess Zoe who of course went on to um, remarkable success in the Group 1 Prix de Cadran at Longchamp for Tony Mullins and Joey Sheridan last weekend, one of the highlights of the season for me. She is a fabulous mare, but at the time they met, Dalton Highway was set to give £16 to Princess Zoe, who has since won a Group 1 and a Group 3, of course, prior to that. So being beaten just five lengths was a very, very good effort. 
And then last time, without uh, without putting too many uh, ideas into your head, he was just given a quiet run at Killarney, in my view. They put an apprentice rider on. Uh, it was a nice uh, cobweb blower. Uh, clear the tubes and uh, have him spot on for this race. They've replaced the apprentice uh, with the terrific Tom Marquand. And this is a horse who goes on soft ground and stays. So two firms at the time of recording are offering 20 to 1. The rest are offering 18 and 16. The two offering 20s are Bet365, who pay each way the first five places, and William Hill, who are offering six places each way. So that is the best value at the time of this recording. It wouldn't surprise me if a few go a little bit bigger as the betting hots up. But I think 20 to 1 each way, six places, is a fair price for Dalton Highway in the Cesaro, which is a 3.35 at Newmarket on Saturday. And then we turn to the jumps at Chepstow, where there's a fascinating race in prospect. There's a listed novice chase over two and a half miles. It's due off at the unusual time of 3.22. Not a big field, but some very talented horses. Nicky Henderson. Uh, he runs Fusil Raffles, who won the Grade 2 Elite Hurdle last season and made a winning debut over fences at uh, Utoxeter recently. There's Paul Nichols' Grand Sancy, so the top two trainers in the country are represented. This one was third in a Grade 1 novice chase last season. Very, very talented horse. And there's also a horse called Longhouse Sale, trained by uh, uh, Dan Skelton. And he's won all three of his races over fences this summer. He's taken really well to larger obstacles and he could be anything. He won at Stratford and then he took two races at Utoxeter. But there's a horse I saw last season racing over hurdles and every time I saw him I thought to myself, this is a chaser. And the old adage, whatever he does over hurdles is a bonus. Well, he did quite a lot. His name is Fiddler on the Roof. Uh, he's uh, not trained by Topple. He's trained by Colin Tizard and is the mount of Robbie Power. And Colin Tizard is a great trainer of chasers. Now this horse was very smart over hurdles. He won the Grade 1 Tolworth Hurdle last season at Sandown in January and he was very strongly fancied for the Supreme Novices Hurdle at the Cheltenham Festival. For, for whatever reason, he just didn't run his race. He might have been over the top for the season. He bombed out, but he's definitely the type to make it over fences. I think it's very interesting that they don't give him an easy introduction. They put him straight into this hot novice chase against some proven, talented horses but I think that Fiddler on the Roof is going to go very high over the uh, novice chase ranks this season. He's going to be a Cheltenham Festival horse, so granted good health and a clear run. And at the time of recording, he's offered at 13 to 8, with the only firm that are pricing up, that's William Hills. I think he might be bigger. I think he'll be around a 2 to 1 shot. Uh, so look around for any firms offering 2 to 1. And Fiddler on the Roof for me is the best bet of the day on Saturday, making his debut over fences for Colin Tizard and Robbie Power in the 3.22 race at Chepstow. So three recommendations for Saturday. Enjoy your racing. Let's hope we continue to make it pay. And I'll be back next week with more selections for you here at Sportsbet TV. Bye-bye for now.